Yo, so what is going on you guys? My name is Jersey or J Boogie and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you guys see the thumbnail? You guys read the title? The Daybreak DLC for State of Decay 2 has fully released and I gotta say I played a couple of games and so far I'm having a blast. And uh, as of right now, it's $9.99 on the Xbox Store and if you have Game Pass, I believe it's a little bit cheaper, I think around 10%. Or if you have the Ultimate Edition, you just automatically get it for free. But in today's video, you guys, we're gonna be going over the new game mode. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play it what exactly to do so you know your surroundings and overall how to make the most out of it and just enjoy it to the fullest and after that i'll definitely show you guys some footage of me just straight up playing without the commentary so you guys can sit back sink your teeth into it and overall just get a feel for it and um feedback is definitely key are you excited for it or is this something that you don't like let me know in the comments with that being said be sure to drop a like also subscribe turn on post notifications you don't want to miss a video let's go ahead and hop right into it so this new game mode will be taking place on a whole new map and as you can see right here it's always gonna have that nighttime theme which I really really love it's gonna hold a max of four people whether it's gonna be you and three other friends or if you decide to play alone it can be you and two other NPCs now from the footage that you're seeing right here you're gonna be playing as well equipped at red talons and your main objective beyond just trying to survive and keep your base intact is to protect this technician who's feverishly working on a massive antenna used to communicate with Cleo now throughout this whole process Cleo will actually be delivering you some supply drops and within those supply drops there's gonna be like RTX weapons some grenades it's definitely gonna vary but I guarantee whatever's inside is definitely gonna be a necessity and by simply just surviving just keep that technician alive and let him continue to work and that will trigger the Clio supply drops and here's some footage of me actually going out there to grab one by simply climbing over the wall walking into the field you should see a flashing green light and from that point you've located the Clio supply drop community Communication is definitely key because you guys you're gonna be getting hit by a hordes of zombies and each wave you advance the harder it's gonna get and not to mention the pharaohs that are gonna be moving like 30 miles per hour and also one big bad mama known as the plague juggernaut that's something new that we haven't seen this thing is scary you guys and lastly the more time you put into it the higher rounds you advance to you will then earn credit known as prestige which you're gonna be using this prestige to buy items off of the daybreak trader so yeah simple enough yeah that's what I thought you guys have an understanding and what we're gonna be doing from this point is I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 minutes of footage from this new game mode right here without any background music without me commentating just straight up live footage so you guys can sink your teeth into it and you know just get a feel for it my name is Jerzyo and if you can do me a favor and drop a like it will mean a lot and it will definitely help me out even more I hope you enjoy the rest of the footage Yo, what the fuck? So here's the deal. I have to wake up this relay and connect it to the Clio satellite network. But that takes a while, and the signal sounds like an air horn to the Zeds. And all we gotta do is kill all the zombies that show up. That's right. If the Zeds get me, this whole mission is fucked. You have a little time before trouble arrives. I suggest you gear up and finish building that barricade. Let me know when you're ready. Wait any longer. I'm waking it up now, so you better have your shit together. Good luck. The last one.
That floater can make a real mess. Drop artillery on zombies is a good friend to have. 